Hacienda, science is our thing. We have two dedicated resource science teachers, kinder through second and three through fifth. We have two science labs, and we also have an amazing outdoor classroom. Our number one goal here at Hacienda is to create the love of learning for your child, starting in kindergarten and creating that environmental steward that can leave here in fifth grade excited to grow and to continue their lifelong journey of learning. We also have a fully funded music program from our amazing parent group, HIPS. So students are getting the articulation of music skills from kinder all the way to fifth grade, where they leave having a love of music. We, have a, we also have a focus on the whole child. So of course, um, with having a, a student support counselor here on site full time and a counseling support team, we utilize a social emotional learning curriculum second step to make sure that students are not only academically strong, but also socially and emotionally strong as well. We have uh, a max of 26 students in our kinder through second grade classrooms and a max of 28 students in our third through fifth grade classrooms. We have a full-time nurse on site that is here to support um, all of our students, allergy, medication needs, or in health emergencies. We have a district nurse that supports our school as well that will work with any students that have a, a emergency health care plan. And in terms of special ed services, we do have uh, services included here. We have a resource specialist teacher. We have a, a speech and an occupational therapy. So there's uh, many things to support children uh, in, their, in their many needs here, but number one, supporting that love of learning uh, and, and that uh, academic and social emotional growth is, is key. So currently we have two programs. We have the YMCA and we have High Five um, that also supports our recess time. Um, but those programs are available before and after school for our families. Uh, you can inquire on our website to find out more about that. You're gonna get a whole lot more information if you've been accepted into our program when it comes to our welcome back letter uh, that you'll receive uh, at the end of our summer around late July, early August, uh, to learn a whole lot more about the details of our school. So we look forward to sharing that with you uh, and having you a part of our program. Hi, I'm Mrs. Solenbeck, one of the kindergarten teachers here at Hacienda, and I'm here to answer a few of your questions about what Hacienda looks like each day. We write our schedule down so that the teacher remembers and the students can be prepared for what's coming. A typical day will consist of math lessons, writing block, we have an ELA time where we're learning letters, sounds, sight words, rhyming, syllables, and then we have all sorts of fun things trickled in through the day like science once a week. We have music, library, computer time. Every student has an iPad that they get to work on. A typical kindergarten classroom setup consists of five to six small tables where they can work collaboratively together, usually four or five students to a table. Um, we like to do that in kindergarten so they can learn to share, take turns, help one another, and work together. We also have a carpet area where students utilize throughout the day. So there's many transitions from tables to carpets. And then in the back of each classroom is a teacher workspace where we can pull small groups for small reading instruction. And for the convenience of our little ones, each kindergarten classroom has two bathrooms located inside. Kindergarten has lunch daily from 11 to 11.50. Students have 20 minutes to eat their lunch, and then they have 30 minutes to go run around and play out on the kindergarten playground. Um, students can bring their own lunch from home or there is hot lunch provided in the cafeteria. We also have a daily recess from 1.30 to 1.50 in the afternoon where again, students can bring a snack if they'll be hungry again, and then they get to run, and, run around and play for those 20 minutes. So typically in kindergarten, we do minimal homework because we're working so hard all day long. We are a full day kindergarten from nine to three. So typically our homework can be things like sight word practice, nightly reading. Uh, we do a letter bag sharing where students get to bring something from home and share it with the class with regarding the letter that we're working on that week, as well as um, family projects that we'll do throughout the year. 
We have a curriculum to help teach our young students the importance of sharing, empathy towards others, cooperation, working together as a team. We have ample time throughout each week to practice those skills inside of the classroom as well as outside in our enclosed kindergarten playground. We love volunteers here at Hacienda and there are so many opportunities. You can help out in the classroom with small groups, music, lunch duty. We love at home prep volunteers to help us prep all the art projects in kindergarten. We have opportunities for mystery reader and sometimes volunteers during our science hour each week. HIP stands for Hacienda Involved Parents and Staff. We support our school by fully funding our music program, helping to maintain and develop our outdoor classroom and our science program, and offering enriching programs and events. The programs that we offer here at Hacienda are Sprouts, which is a gardening curriculum, our Vista, which is an art program, and Project Cornerstone, which encourages social connections that are positive. The events that we have are Fall Festival, which is a, around Halloween, um, and Spring Flame, which is in the spring. The best way to hear about what's going on at HIPS is to register with Constella, which is a parent portal that you can uh, connect with to communicate with teachers and parents and other teams. And you'll learn more about that in the fall when we send out more details. Uh, the best way to get involved is to volunteer. In the fall, we'll have volunteer fairs. We'll have things posted, events and programs on Constella, and you can sign up to volunteer or you can contact us directly. Another great way to support HIPS is to give financially. We have a giving drive in the fall. You'll learn more about HIPS programs and events and how to support HIPS. A uh, great way is to register with Constella. A lot of the teachers communicate through email and you'll hear more about the best way to communicate with them at the back to school night in the fall.